Hello, welcome to the Narrowband channel. This is a very quick review of the Olympus 25mm f1.2 Pro Lens. Now, if you've been watching my channel for any period of time, you're going to know that I primarily concentrate on astrophotography. And you're probably wondering, what are my thoughts of this lens? Because it is a very fast lens, it's an f1.2 lens and its application in astrophotography. I'm gonna tell you right up front, if you were gonna buy this lens solely for astrophotography, I actually would not recommend it. And that's because there's a lot of coma in this lens, which is kind of surprising, because the other pro lenses that I've tested, the 45 mm f1.2, had very little coma. It was almost completely gone, even stopped down just half a stop. This lens, however, uh, even at f4, I was still seeing coma, and I ended up actually not, um, uh, even processing the, the photos that I took with it. Now, that being said though, for all of my other uses for this lens, uh, it has completely exceeded my expectations and I use it a lot. Um, as a matter of fact, this lens is a lens that I kind of reach for basically all the time whenever I'm taking pictures of my kids, of myself, of family, uh, for just things around the house. Uh, this is kind of the lens that's always on the camera and if I was only given one lens, I would be really hard pressed to say no to this lens. I, this actual lens might be the one that I would pick. So it is a pro lens, so it's all metal construction, okay? Comes with a lens hood, which reverses like so. Um, it does not have a steel lens cap like some of the other pro lenses do. Well, wait a minute, I take it back. The front, the front is metal. <laughs> But for, for regular portraits and stuff, it's very sharp. The autofocus is very quick. And like I said, you know, it's got this, I like the slide back and forth to manual focus to autofocus. It has a function button on the side which you can assign different functions to. And I actually haven't gotten around to doing that yet. I probably should. But really, it's a fun lens to use. The 25 millimeter focal length is equivalent to a 50 millimeter lens. And that is really the most useful and the most, uh, the most flexible focal length you can ever have in your bag. So if you're going to use it for daytime or just everyday photography, I de definitely recommend the lens, okay? Just not for astrophotography, simply because of the coma. And if you wonder what coma is, coma, it makes the stars on the outside edges of the picture kind of look like comets, you know, and they're kind of streaming away from the center of the image. And that was a little bit disappointing. Now, Olympus does make a 25 millimeter f1.8, and I was looking at the MTF chart for that lens, and that one actually may even be a better solution than this one, but I haven't tested it yet, maybe in a future video.